Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Maina Sukhlan. You are watching your tech and coding channel, My Code Works. So guys, in this video, we are going to see how to connect MySQL database to your existing Spring Boot project. In continuation to this playlist of Spring Boot for tutorials, I am going to add this video for those who want to work with MySQL and Spring Boot. So let's get started. If you haven't subscribed my YouTube channel, please do subscribe and click on bell icon for more updates. Let's get started. So first thing is you need MySQL server and workbench to be installed in your system. If you haven't installed, if you don't have this thing in your system, then you have to go and check out this video that I made recently how to install MySQL in your system and then come back and let's get started to the same point that we are now going to. So I have already existing Spring Boot project where I haven't added MySQL as a DB here. So I'm going to integrate MySQL as a DB part here. Now on the Spring Boot project right, which is already having S2 database connectivity. So if you don't know S2 database connectivity and S2 database is in memory database where we don't need any kind of DB installation to be done in our system. So let's get started. Now I have this project already. First thing you have to make sure that MySQL uh, dependency, Maven dependency is already there in pom.xml. If it is not there, then let's add that first. Okay. So I will check my pom.xml here and I will figure out whether that MySQL connector is there or not. So if you go down here, I am not able to find any MySQL connector or related to uh, dependency here. So first thing is we are going to add MySQL connector dependency here. I can find out Postgres SQL connect, uh, dependencies there, S2 database dependency, but we don't have MySQL. So I will go to on Maven dependency, MAV and Maven dependency, and then we'll find out the MySQL dependency to install, right? So let's go to this Maven dependency. I will search MySQL driver, and then we'll pick it from here. Let's uh, click on this MySQL connector. And then the last one, recent one, we will we'll click on this and just copy it. So we'll copy it from here and directly we'll paste it here in form.xml and then save it. If you save directly now, then you can see building has been started here and it will install the dependency from that Maven dependency. Now we have installed this MySQL connector here. Now what we are going to do is we are going to work on application.properties. If you don't know application.properties, please check out this video where I have explained everything, each and everything about uh, Spring Boot project file, uh, folder and file structure when all the file and uh, what are the file and uh, folders are there for what it is which purpose it is, right? So you check out this video. So we are going to click on application.properties. If I click on application.properties, you can find out at first you won't be able to see anything, but once you have already created and connected any S2 database at the time, you can easily find out these things in your project right so first thing uh, you have to set the profiles active development production whatever it is you can put the profiles now you have to already set the server port these are things required already and the thing is spring.jpa.hibernate.dl dash auto so this basically tells that how uh, every time when you run the program whether it's to create a table or update the table if it is already created so we have to mention this as an update here so that we get the already existing data and it should not create the every time right so now let's in the, come to the main point how we can connect the mysql so let's open the my uh, mysql workbench if you have already installed let's open mysql workbench and let's see how many databases i have so data bases if i run this query here i have two two five five databases right so i want to create a separate database create database task api db I will run this query and one database should be created here as a task API DB if you see downside. So DB has been created. Now we are going to use this DB as a DB for us, right? So we have to add these things, right? Let's copy this one. It's the same for anything like if you want to add with MySQL or S2 database, it will be same data source URL. URL means where your DB is running or where DB is actually the main URL for the DB. So JDBC, JDBC colon MySQL colon slash slash my DBs or my MySQL server is running on local host, local, local host. And it is running on 33064. 33064. And my DB name that I just created, task API DB. Right. So I have wrote this one. And then I don't need any stuff, only two things I need to do. Just write the username. I uh, I have set the username. Uh, by default, the username will be root only. So I'm going to write the root. And the next one will be password. So if you have added password, then you have to provide the password. Otherwise, you have to skip this part. So uh, while installing MySQL server in that video, I have added root as a password also. So I'm going to uh, put as a root. If you have added something else, you have to write this. Otherwise, you have to skip this password part. And amazing thing is just only three lines will make you MySQL to be connected or integrated with your existing project in Spring Boot. So let me show you. So let me show you. Let's run this for my application here. This one. Go to Java application. And then let's run it. If you haven't subscribed my YouTube channel, please do subscribe and click on bell icon for more updates. So as it will pick up and everything it will check. So our Spring Boot project uh, application is getting started. So let's wait a little time. Uh, there is an issue with the task API DB. Okay, I should not put like this. 
so it's just common mistake i will just uh, rerun this again let's rerun this again so it's just a semicolon here we are not going to put any of the semicolon otherwise we will take as a db name so we don't have any kind of db name with column semicolon right so this is silly mistakes that we did sometimes It's checking everything and all, and after that, it will start the things. Database available, available GDBC MySQL, localhost, 3306, task API DB, and by default, it's picking the dialect uh, as a MySQL 8 dialect because we are working on MySQL 8. And now, see, uh, my started task ap API application in this, this is this month of second, and it's running on 8080. So, let's check the DB first whether that uh, we have we have only one uh, model task and we should get the task uh, DB here itself. So, let's do one thing use task api db and then select dsc let's let's write dsc dsc task so it will show you uh, about the task as you can see we have uh, the data has been i mean table has been created select select start from task so there is no any data but our uh, task i mean table has been created successfully and now we are able to connect it successfully so task if you see the task we have three things id title completed so this thing, thing has been already the table has been created in the uh, MySQL DB. This is all about today's video. We are able to successfully integrate our MySQL DB to existing Spring Boot project. If you like this video, please share with your friends. And uh, if you have any doubt, please reach out to me in comment section. I will try to help you out. And please don't forget to subscribe my channel. And so please, please do support. And till that, bye. We'll meet in next video. Something amazing content. Till that, bye.